for bulk excavation jobs like this one, it's a no-brainer these days. It doesn't take a lot of time, it doesn't cost a lot of money once you've actually got the drone. So you can create these accurate models and then put your designs through it to go and do the works. Previously we'd probably put two man, three man survey crews on the ground to survey a job like this. Using the drone we've been able to work out earthworks quantities prior to moving into the job, work out where we need to take material from and put material. So the drone work's taken us three to four hours and a little bit of office time to process it so it's definitely created a lot of savings for this job. Us building this little bit there, where we're going to be, the two or three, four kilometres, um, will allow flows to actually get through to where they naturally should go. So they're basically blocked now by channels, roads, farmers' drains, those sorts of things. Um, and so we're about putting a drain in, but it also removes all those obstructions. And that's, that's what we're trying to do. But it's about protecting the environment from the impacts of irrigation, which means salinity, water runoff, um, impacts on vegetation, those sorts of things, but also about using the water most efficiently in the efficient way they can. 